welcome to One More Pen. Today we're taking a closer look at the Lamy Violet Blackberry and I have it right here. Uh, just got it recently and a lot of, uh, lot of comments about this pen on the internet. Uh, some people love it, some people hate it. So we'll take a closer look at it, um, inspect it really close up, see what we like and don't like about it and I'll do a writing sample. We'll see how this pen writes. I got this one in a fine. It is my first fine Lamy nib. I have Lamy's in medium, um, broad as well as 1.1 stub. I really like the 1.1 stub nibs. I, I'm not always excited about Lamy nibs. I find that they can be inconsistent. I have five Lamy pens and I also ordered some extra nibs along the way. And I find that about, sadly, only about half of them, I would say, are really great nibs. The others are sort of, one or two are okay, and then there are one or two that are just absolutely unusable. And I'm sure, you know, one can improve them with some tuning and whatever, but, you know, when you buy something out of the box new, it, it, you really shouldn't have to fiddle around with it just to make it work. I'm not talking about getting a nib exactly the way that I want it. I'm talking about just basic writing. So a nib should work uh, for that purpose, and the Lamy nibs are not great. Um, but I wanted to take a chance and get this one in a fine. From what I've heard, from what people say, the, the, the Lamy fine nibs appear to be quite wet and I, I like a really wet nib. I like a pen that lays down a decent amount of ink. So I decided to give it a go and uh, we'll take a closer look and see what all the fuss is about. All right, let's take a closer look at the Lamy. Um, I must apologize for the sound quality. We have um, some strong winds and I'm sure you can hear that on the mic, but it is what it is. I uh, don't want to delay this uh, any longer. So, so uh, the Lamy Safaris usually come in um, this packaging. Um, might like it, might not like it, but I think it's kind of cool. It's really, it's really nice. And it's, um, I think in terms of you know, being able to recycle if you want to throw this away in the end, it's, uh, it's pretty good packaging for that. It's not my first Safari, so that's what it looks like. Very nice. I mean, it's not a fancy pen, you know, so it doesn't need to come in a fancy box. I think this is quite fine. Now, I did order a bottle of Violet Blackberry ink which unfortunately was out of stock so I got these uh, fortunately they were in stock but this is all I could get so it'll have to do for now I did order a converter um, but um, this will have to wait until I can get my bottle of ink um, so it'll be interesting to look at this ink as well right I inked it up because uh, it takes a few minutes for the ink to go all the way through the section to the nib, but the cartridge is in. And well, I'm not going to talk too much about the Safari. I mean, it's it's not the first Safari that you're probably seeing, but uh, we can we can have a closer look. Finial at the top uh, got this really purple, really shiny, you know, sort of a is that a new, not a neon purple, but definitely stands out the color of this pen is really nice I must say I enjoy this it, it is a it is a violet it is a, a purple but it is a very nice color it's um, it feels creative it feels new but it's it's also it has a hint of I think also being classic and um, it's modern uh, just just really nice. I like it. Um, it's an in-between, I would say, between something that is, you know, like your classic black, which is very predictable, and, you know, sort of a, a young, fun color. So it's an in-between. It's It can go both ways, I think. Pen on caps, and then um, first thing we notice, of course, is the section is this very bright purple. Um, I don't know how I feel about this yet. Um, I like it, part of me likes it, part of me is not so crazy about it. Um, I just think that, you know, the 
the exterior of this bin it, it really looks nice and then you get this purple it's it's a really in your face color if you like something if you want this bin to be really fun then this is definitely going to be it but if you lean more towards you know i'm using this bin at work it's more professional something like that then perhaps this is not your your favorite color clip is um, black and the nib as well and we have a fine nib on this one i don't know if we'll get focused there but we can try here we go fine nib and the rest of the pen is you know safari the way that you know it um what what i can also just mention is that the the um the cap and the, and the barrel is a matte um, finish while the section is more uh, sorry it's a gloss finish while the section is more of a matte finish and it's got a little bit of texture to it which I think is actually quite nice my red safari that I have this is also gloss on the section and that's not so great I think the these facets the uh, the edges of the facets feel a little bit better on this pen on my on my red safari it feels really sharp and you know that's unnecessary I mean you can hold it there so um, some people like the facets some people don't if you like someone else to tell you how you should hold your pen perhaps this is the pen for you uh, I don't like someone else to tell me how I should hold my pen so the facets don't fit perfectly but I, I have found that it's not a big problem actually I can I can hold the pen the way I want to hold it without it being necessarily uncomfortable Perhaps if I do long writing sessions with it, maybe then it will be a little bit uncomfortable, but I haven't found that yet, so that's not an issue. Okay, maybe we should uh, take a closer look. Well, what I was thinking, this, this is another thing that I, I was thinking about, the, you know, the section, it, what you could do, and what I'm thinking about doing is I have... I have this pen. Uh, this is uh, the Petrol All Star, which is uh, really nice. Absolutely love it. It's got a bold nib on it. But what you can do is you can create your own sort of. Uh, oh, I just need to. I think I need to move that this ring as well. So we can swap the sections around and you can of course just swap the nibs around as well but i'm not going to swap the nibs now um, i just want to show you what you can do here and what this will look like so what do you think about this i think this section looks far far better on the spin than the the purple one now again, like I say, if you if you really if you're into the purple and you want that sort of you want it to pop, then then that's great. But for me, this is really nice. I I really like this. What you could also do, I have a Vista. You could do the same thing with your Vista if you wanted to. So I I really like the smoky um, section there. But you could of course take a Lamy Vista, and then you have a transparent section that is nice too i really like it um I, I i might just do this actually in the long run uh for now i'm not in a rush i think i i want to give this um a fair chance I, I don't think it's ugly it's just not maybe my absolute go-to you know it's not my my first choice but i want to give it a fair chance so uh, i'll use it uh, at least I'll at least write one cartridge with this section see how I feel about it then and this is of course a fine nib which I don't have on any of my other pens um, so it will be very interesting to feel how this pen writes not used to a fine nib on a safari so let me just put the others away I'll be using my Rodeo dot pad of course very very nice reliable paper what else can I say about it all right I'll be using the Rodeo dot pad and let's 
see, maybe just have another closer look at that nib. Um, I'm not so sure about the black nib. I do like, I just like the plain steel nib. So, but this is this is also nice. It's a, it's a very nice touch on the spin. You know, I, I think it. We have this ring in the middle. It looks like a o-ring, but it's really just plastic. But but that's black. The nib is black. The clip is black, and it sort of goes together very nicely. I think everything in terms of the color scheme works very well perhaps uh, for me except for the the purple uh, section but anyway so let's have a look at how this pin writes this is our Lamy Safari Violet Blackberry and this is a fine nib um, bit dry there to start but I had the cap off for quite a while so that's understandable it feels very smooth and this nib is very wet it's very nice um, it lays down a decent amount of ink. The, the color of this ink, it just depends on the angle that you are looking at it. Um, but from where I'm sitting, this looks like a black ink. And when I just shift a little bit, uh, I can see the, the sort of purple. And it definitely has some, some sheen to it. Um, so we'll take a closer look in a second. Line variation. Let me hold it properly. It's not made to provide line variation, but if you put a little bit of pressure on it, you can just 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 about get a tiny bit of line variation from there. But um, I I wouldn't. There's no need to. Um, there's absolutely no need to do that. Well, my handwriting is horrible because of the angle at which I have to sit and hold the pen to do the recording. Uh, so that sounds great, but um, I can tell you that it feels really nice. This is a smooth nib. Uh, for a fine, it's absolutely not scratchy at all. It's actually incredibly smooth. Now, I, I mean, Alami Safari is a very light pen. It's, it's plastic all around, but just the weight of the pen alone and this is this is what any good fountain pen should do but many good fountain pens um, have some weight to it so usually you have some weight there but this is almost no weight on this nib and it is just really nice and wet I wonder if we will uh, let me see if I do this I don't know if we will get any if we will get to see the sheen um, on this at all I'll try to get a close-up as well but there's a decent amount of sheen on this I would say um, not so much shading uh, because it's quite a dark color but definitely a very nice sheen on the ink my final thoughts about this pen I'm really happy that I got this one I'm not always crazy about the Lamy Safaris um, but they definitely grow on you. I, there are some really good things about these pens. The, the fact that you can swap out the nibs so easily is really great. Um, of course, I think it's necessary because the nibs aren't that great always. I, I haven't had the best experience with them. But when they do write well, they are really excellent nibs. My broad nib is really nice. I have two stub nibs. One is just okay. The other one is really smooth and really nice to write with this is my first fine nib it's really nice and wet um, 
very nice ink flow, uh, very smooth. It's a it's a pen that I can tell you already now that I would be using quite a lot. The um, I like the way this pen looks. I like the color on it. It it is really a beautiful pen. Um, I am not crazy about the purple section, but that's not that's just me. Um, it's it's not a color that I'm crazy about. But I can swap it out for what I have on my All Star or my or my Vista, and um, so that's another nice thing about the Lamy pens, about the Safaris, is you can do that. You can create your own Frank and Lamy if you want to Frank and Safari. And so that's really nice. Um, you have a lot of options with this pen. So build quality, I, I mean, um, the safaris are what they are. These, these are built really well. Um, you can knock them around a lot. They, they're not going to just break. They scratch up a little bit, but that's, you know, any pen would do that. I think it's really good build quality. The nibs are, they are what they are. I mean, um, not always great for me, but they, they seem decent and the fact that they swap out so easily that makes life a lot easier the ink window um, on both sides of the of the barrel that's really nice i mean you can you can see how much ink you have left and it's a nice touch it's a very typical safari by now and um, and i like it i've gotten used to it the clip is unusual for most pens but it's nice it's functional it's it's a reminds you of a, of a paper clip and it's it's nice in that way uh, we have Lamy on the barrel right there I really can't complain about this pen I think I think for the price it's good value for money and I would recommend it I think it's a it's a really good purchase I think this is good work uh, Lamy 